Check. Check if he's breathing. about the relationship between Miss Tate and Mr. Hammond? They got on well. They went to the pub, she took him out for a meal. Is this really necessary? You must have searched in here a hundred times. You were saying he and Miss Tate get on. She seems to like being with him. I mean, the guy saved that kid's life. Mm. Does it seem odd to you, a trucker being friendly with a boss? No. There's always the kind of boss you can be friendly Did with. Did you think there was anything sexual between Miss Tate and Mr. Hammond? You know, there's always... You know she's a lesbian, don't you? That doesn't answer my question, Mr. Collins. No. I didn't think there was anything sexual between them. What is going on here? Why are you sitting here asking stupid questions when you can be out searching the area? At the moment, we have no idea where Mr. Hammond is. He's in one of our vans. Me and some of the drivers could go looking for him. I want you here. I'm talking to you next. Great. We sit round chatting and Zoe and Chris could already be dead. That whole argument... That was to get the gun off Liam, wasn't it? He was. He wasn't going to hurt us. So what was the gun for, Chris? It's a real gun. It's just killed a man. It could have been you. It could have been me. It's okay. You just take a breath. He was going to kill us. I got to know him, Zoe. He wasn't mad. He was angry, because our father got his mother pregnant. And then he abandoned her. She'd been kidding herself all these years that he'd come back to her. This is lies. He thought we owed him. I think he was right. We did. He was lying, Chris. He wasn't your brother. He wasn't your friend. He wasn't someone you could trust. He showed me letters, photographs, newspaper clippings. You go upstairs. They're probably there. Oh, I bet he's been planning it for weeks, preparing it. Oh, no. You've got to face up to this. You didn't have to kill him! I would have talked him out of it! You're wrong! No, you wish. You've killed our brother! So what's going on? I mean, what is the point of all this? When we find Mr. Hammond, we may have to negotiate with him. Anything you can tell me about him might be useful. He was a nice enough guy. He didn't have much to say. But then you always hear that about killers, don't you? Quiet bloke kept himself to himself. Killers are ordinary people. Anyone can be pushed to violence, given the right circumstances. A nice view of the world you've got there. Mr Hammond's house was empty, and there was no sign that he was keeping Mr Tate there. Do you have any idea where he might be holding him? You're desperate, aren't you? I didn't know him well. I just can't help you. Except, as I say, he's got one of our vans. We have an alert out on your vehicle. He might have dumped it. At present, it appears to be our only lead. Well, it looks like Zoe and Chris are on their own, then. Doesn't it? What are we going to do? Call the police. Find a phone and call them. I can wait here another half hour if I have to. Go on, Zoe. I want to get out of here. I can't call them. 
What are you talking about? Liam's dead. I can't call the police. So what do you suggest? I don't think the two of us are quite up to burying him. I don't know. Zoe, we have no choice! I've never hurt anyone before. I always thought that talking to someone, <laughs> reasoning with them, I always thought that was the best way to resolve a problem. Seems you've changed. I've been so furious. I've been carrying this pent-up rage inside this last few weeks, and when I found out it was him, and that he'd been around me all this time, near me, speaking to me, making himself my friend. You wanted to kill him? I wanted him to suffer. How does it feel? I can't call them. How can I? How will it look? They'll say I murdered him, won't they? No. They won't. They won't call this murder. Chris, help me. We have to work something out. We don't have to work anything out. This is what you're going to do. You're going to call the police and tell them exactly what happened. Don't use that big brother tone with me. I am not going to let you push me into anything. You tell the police what happened. I'll back you up. No one's going to call it murder. So what did happen, Chris? You were scared. You were worried about me. It was the heat of the moment you got the gun off him, and then you, you didn't know what he was going to do, and, and... Yes! I didn't know what he was going to do, and so I shot him. That doesn't sound too good, does it? I was angry with him, that's the truth, and I hated him. I did think our lives were in danger, of course I did, but that's not how it's going to sound. It's going to sound like I shot him in cold blood. Please, just call the police, and we will take it from there. I wish Dad was here. He'd know how to handle this. You certainly handle this better. I've just watched you kill his son. Now, we've got to deal with this. First, we get my story straight. I got the gun off Liam. Then he came at me. We struggled and the gun went off, all right? You can't lie to them. Why not? For a starter, they'll... They'll know where he was when the gun went off. You can't say you were struggling. All right, all right. Um, I got the gun off him. He was coming at me. He said he was going to kill me. That's when I shot him. That'll work, won't it? He wasn't coming at you. He didn't say he was going to kill you. He was trying to talk to you. Chris, please. This will work as long as you back me up. You will back me up, won't you? You'll do this for me. No. No, I'm not... I'm not going to lie to the police. Why not, Chris? You have to! No, I don't. I owe it to Liam. I owe it to him to tell the truth. Would you say it was in character for Miss Tate to get involved in this sort of behaviour? What exactly do you mean, Inspector? She's been reckless and foolish. Reminds me of her brother. Is this really the best time for a character assassination? If she is currently in Mr Hammond's hands, I need to get a sense of how she might be with him. <laughs> Frightened, I would imagine. You're not annoyed with her, are you? If she hadn't tried to play the vigilante, we wouldn't be in this situation. Well, you weren't getting very far, were you? She should have told us her suspicions and left it to us. Go. What is it? We found the van. Where? It's about six miles away, near a farmhouse, in the middle of nowhere. Send in the armed response unit. Armed? Oh. We're dealing with a dangerous man. Well, should I come? Maybe I could talk to him. We've had enough amateurs getting involved in this already. Jack. That man threatened to kill you. 
He kept you down here for nearly two months. And you think you owe him something. Go and find the evidence. What? The proof. The proof that he was dead, son. Go find it. It's here. I told you. I think he kept it upstairs. I want you to see it. I want you to understand. First, we have to work out what we're going to do. You were scared, aren't you? You don't want to have to admit that, that you killed our brother. units from Tango 1. Take up your positions around the perimeter. I want every door and window covered. There are police out there. Oh are you going to back up my story? Chris! We have to burn this stuff. What? We have to burn this to protect Dad's memory. What happened to owing Liam something? It's to protect him too. He wouldn't want his mother dragged into this. So you won't lie for me. But you'll destroy evidence for him. And for Dad. Listen. If the police find out that Liam was your brother, they might think he was after his inheritance. That would give you a motive to kill him. I don't believe you. You don't care about that. All you care about is the Tate's reputation. Leon Hammond, the farmhouse is surrounded by armed police. Get yourself up now, and no harm will come to you. You burn this stuff. Then we'll discuss what to tell the police. Chris, I'll see the ashes. I forget this stuff. What are we going to do? What are we gonna do? There's no movement around the back, sir. I wonder if he's in there. You're going to try and make contact again? I'll give him another minute or two to sweat. I'll hide this on me. You'll have to go to hospital. I'll find it if you have it. What's that? This is Dad. With Liam's mother. They look happy, don't they? Come on, Chris. We don't have time for this. It's what this is all about. Two people meeting. But only one of them falling in love. Imagine if Dad had felt slightly, slightly different towards her. Liam, he'd have been a Tate. You and I, we'd never been born. Now, I want that. I don't want you to destroy it. Why do you want it? Something to remember him by. So you're going to back up my story? It's exactly as it happened, except we say that at the end, when I had the gun, Liam was advancing on me. He was threatening to kill me. You know he was your brother now, don't you? You do accept that. It's not important. Oh, it's ironic, isn't it? Sweet Zoe, everybody's friend. 
Are you laughing at me? You can put it down to shock. So I don't believe I'm getting out of this hole. Don't laugh at me! You've seen the proof. You know what you did. I don't put it down to shock. I put it down to you being twisted. Everybody knows that I'm the bad guy. Twisted old Chris. But it's my butter wouldn't melt in her mouth sister who kills Liam. Shut up. Who kills him in... How do you say? Cold blood? Shut up! Liam, you're not gaining anything by this. We want to help you. We can resolve this peacefully if you talk to us. Do you hear that, Liam? You know gaining anything by all this. Chris, try and hold it together just a bit longer. Was that Spalding? Yes, he's been on the case since the start. No wonder I've been down here so long. Poor old Spalding, foiled by another Tate. He's going to be cross with you. Maybe you're right. Maybe he'll want a murder charge. <laughs> You are going to back me up, aren't you, Chris? you do it for me. Me? But I'm... I'm twisted. I'm a bully. I'm asking you again, Liam. Please give yourself up and send your hostages out. I remind you, we are armed. Chris! Please! Do you want one? Yeah, I'll have a small one. Have a large one. What's going on? Have you heard any news? Nothing. I was hoping you two might have heard something. Well, they found the van Liam was using. I still can't believe it's him. Yeah, well, you're not famous for your good judgment, Sean. Spalding said they were sending in an armed response unit. You know. They will do, yeah. And what's wrong? What do you think? Several nervous marksmen with fingers on triggers. Situations like this are lethal. Wait. All units from Tango One, movement at the front of the house, remain in position. Yes. Cathy not around? No, she's gone home. Huh. Is she here about his eyes disappearing, then? Yeah, Pete told us the news. And how'd she take it? Why? Well, perhaps then they should be with her. You? <laughs> Hardly. Isn't this a sort of occasion when you women are particularly good at sharing your feelings, eh? You sound like Betty. Now, that's something I don't hear very often. I forget what I said. What did he want? Can you manage on your own for a while? I won't be long. Inspector Spaulding, how oh, nice to see you again. It's a relief to see you, Mr. Tate. And only two months since I was kidnapped. Quick work by your standards. It's nice to see you've retained your sense of humour. Mr. Hammond appears to have been killed by a single shot to the chest. Go. I assume that was the weapon? I don't think this is the time to be questioning us. Oh, I'm not questioning anybody, Miss Tate. That'll come later. But it's always a good idea to get a... a sense of what happened while we're here. Can't it wait? Mr. Tate? Do you feel up to telling me what happened here? Zoe and I we were pretending to argue. Liam uh, pulled her off me. She managed to get the gun. Very resourceful. 
Bill. He was advancing on me. He said he was going to kill me. He was angry because we had tricked him and... He said he was going to kill me and... I was terrified. I panicked and... I shot him. I see. Can you confirm it? My brother needs to go to hospital. It's just like Zoe said. Liam, he, he lost it. Uh, he, he was coming at her. And... He said he was going to kill her. She had no choice. this. I've hated Chris in the past. He can be pretty unpleasant. You don't have to be polite, Sarah. He's ruthless, selfish, manipulative. But? But in the past, he's been everything to me. Doesn't make much sense, does it? Do you still have feelings for him? <laughs> no, definitely not. But it's nice to feel there's someone in the background who, who loves you, will always be there for you. Of course. Don't lose hope, Kathy. He'll be all right. I'm going with him. Of course. Miss Tate. Don't go far. There are a few questions I'll be wanting to ask you. Suspicious, study. Yes. I hope you can keep your story up through questioning, because he's going to be tough on you. I'll just have to handle it. Do you think you can? I haven't got any choice. Have I? <laughs> 